This is Craig Bloodworth at the Information Lab, and I wanted to record a really quick video of a, a new extension that I'm working on um, for the soon to be released uh, Tableau 2018.2. Um, so, this is a version that's currently in beta now. Um, so, as a Tableau customer, you can get a hold of, of 2018.2 and play around with it. And one of the features that it has is straight out of the bat is um, the ability to add extensions. So I've been working on uh, an extension to allow you to export the summary data from um, a whole dashboard with all of the sheets or, or some of the sheets included in that export. Okay, because I mean, you can kind of do that today. You need to you click on a sheet uh, and then you can hit download and you can choose to download the data you've got to do that for every sheet, okay? And it just downloads it in single files, and you've got to merge them all together uh, if you want to put them into like one Excel file. So I'm going to demo this extension with uh, this really simple dashboard. It's of all of the blog posts that are created by uh, the data school in the UK. Um, for anyone listening in Australia, there is a data school in Australia opening up. Um, check the website for more information. So um, we can see that DS8, which is a current data school cohort that are going through their training, um, they're kind of sort of, you know, middle of the pack, doing okay. They need to pick it up a bit during their, their final couple of uh, weeks before they pick up to, to kind of overtake uh, any of the, the, the data school two or data school four cohorts. So how am I going to put an extension on here? Well, first of all, I'm going to go into edit. And notice here this, and I'm recording this using web editing. OK, so just like lots of new features, the extensions uh, feature is coming straight into web edit. It's also in desktop. Um, the reason I'm demoing it with, with web edit is because downloading Excel files makes sense with uh, uh, doing it through your browser, doing it on the web. You know, you can't download an Excel file from your Tableau desktop workbook. There's, there's no mechanism to do that. Um, so I'm going to go grab the extension object, and I'm going to float it up here right by this filter. It allows me to choose an extension to add. OK, that's going to ask me to basically select a, what's called a T-Rex file. OK, so this is Tableau's extension file that contains all the information that Tableau needs to connect to my extension and put it into this dashboard. So I'll open that up. Tableau's going to kind of upload that metadata file, and we can see that the extension is now there. So let's um, just resize that and make it a bit more the size I want it to be. And you'll see the extension or the export button is grayed out now. OK, that's because I have to configure it. I need to tell it which sheets I want to export. So I'm going to hit the pull down here and go to configure. Let's drag this in so you can see it. And you see I've got a list of the sheets that are on this dashboard. And some of them, you know, I don't need to export. I don't need to export a legend and filter. That's this thing down the left here. All right, uh, at info, I can't even see where that is. I'm sure it's somewhere in the dashboard. I don't need the data from it. All I want is the data from this common baseline and a list of posts which are down the right. So only those two that I want to export. I hit save there, and it's going to make my export button available. Now, let's save this sheet. OK, that's all saved. And we're going to come out of web edit mode. So now we're just going to be kind of in, in viewer interactor mode. All right, there's my dashboard now with my brand new export button. I'm going to hit that and just off the screen, if I drag this up, you'll see that I now have um, an export uh, Excel file, which has been downloaded. And again, if I just resize this so it's in view, we can see that we have two sheets in this Excel file, one called uh, blog post common base, and the other one is the post that have all the summary data from those sheets all ready for me to use. 
So this was a request from a, um, a, a Tableau user, wanted to be able to basically do a nice clean export of lots of sheets into one Excel file. And I thought it made a really you know, interesting use case for, for a quick extension to build. Uh, and I hope to release it soon once it's kind of all refined and, and definitely before 2018.2 comes out. Thanks for listening.